Welcome to the roundup of the fourth day of fishing for the 52nd Hawaiian International Billfish Tournament in lovely Kailua, Kona, Hawaii. Hey, aloha. I'm proud to be here with Peter Fithian for the Hawaii Island Economic Development Board. On behalf of all our members, all of our partners, uh, we just want to say thank you to all of the sponsors and people who've contributed to making this a wonderful event, not just this year and the last 52, but for the next 52. I look forward to seeing Peter here year in and year out. Thanks, everybody, for your cooperation, your support, and your aloha. Take care and God bless. Aloha. The tide changed late this afternoon. It was pretty slow fishing this morning, and suddenly everything exploded. Peter, tell us about it. Well, I would say that the major part of it was three big counting fish, including one that will go into our list of heaviest catches in the tournament for all 52 years. How about that? That's going to be great. And, you know, it's funny because Rocky Franich, who caught this uh, 400 and some odd pound fish, uh, the first one in to be weighed, and it turned out to be the smallest one of the day. <laughs> That's right. And uh, he's been fishing here for 50 of the 52 years, too, by the way. And his father before him. And his father Sorry. before him, yeah. What was the big fish? It was a nice fish, too. And, uh, you know, then, then, of course, we've got the others came in, and, and Marlon Magic came in with a 540 on 50 pound, and that was a really nice catch. They're going to make a lot of points today. Yeah, it's going to bring them from way back. They had nothing, I don't think, to start with. <laughs> Zero to maybe yeah. towards the top. They had, they had 300 points going into the day. Three, good. Okay. Right. 300 points going into the day. The fish weighed 540 on 50, as we said before. The uh, uh, fish is over 500 pounds, so it gets 100 bonus points for that. It's uh, the biggest of the day, it gets another 100 bonus points for that. And if it's the biggest of the tournament, we'll get another 100 bonus points. So. Yeah, it's not leading the tournament, no. but it's bumped him right up in the tournament. So tomorrow, it could be really involved. If, he, if he's left, he's run a little bit late. But tomorrow, if this, this tournament goes down to the wire every year, there's, there's about eight teams now that are so close to each other, and yet a team outside that group of eight could come in with a big fish tomorrow and just wipe the floor. Tomorrow the tide change is going to be late and the whole tournament could be on the line late tomorrow. We could be sitting here very late tomorrow waiting for boats to come in with some very big fish. Uh, it was a beautiful uh, bright day today. We had a nice strong breeze, real shiny sea, and that was good. It stirs up the surface a little bit, makes those lures work a little bit better. Yeah, look how much different than yesterday when we were skating around out yes. here. There was no wind. No wind. It was very flat like yes. a lake. Yes. And nothing happened really. Yes. That's right. right. And yet you get a little bit, of, little bit of turbulence on the surface. Your lures start turning over. They're rolling. They're coming along in the ship's wake. They're positioned by the crew to make it look as authentic as it can. It's got to look like it's really something outstanding so the marlin will have a go at it. So wind tomorrow will be better than no wind tomorrow, right? Yes, it would be better. This has been a good day. Uh, lots of fish, late afternoon, lots of excitement at the pier. Uh, weighing uh, three fish over 400 pounds, one over 500. Uh, we're looking for a very exciting day tomorrow. Maybe late. We might be here uh, late tomorrow. Stay in touch with us at hibtfishing.com. Aloha.